you're showing, and uh, as ugly as it was, we found a way to win. So really, really frustrating in a lot of ways, but uh, proud of our defense uh, to just keep us in the game. Three takeaways, defensive score, obviously difference in the game. Uh, offense was uh, really, really out of sync and really, really performed um, poorly, and, uh, but found a way to win. Proud of our guys, and uh, even offensively, find a way to get that final two-point conversion there uh, was, was a great call. But, uh, yeah, just not a lot to be too fired up about on that side of the football. But, uh, obviously, when you find a way, you got a bunch of players that believe, and they just battle, and they fight, and they call, and they scratch to find a way to win a game. And so uh, winning's hard, and uh, just uh, get a chance to learn from it and get ready for the next one. Questions? And Matt and Zach. Coach, on, on Monday after the, the, this week, you mentioned you'd like to see your team come out and play with confidence for 60 minutes, come out with a certain mindset. Seemed like the same thing this week, except they kind of carried over maybe throughout the entire game. But kind of, where's the concern level? I mean, what I, I guess what can you kind of do four games in the season to kind of change that? Yeah, so obviously maybe look at changing some things we're doing in our schedule. You know, maybe change the personnel. Uh, you just find a way to make some changes to get a different result. Obviously, uh, um, didn't prepare poorly this week, but at the same time, uh, did have to remind them in an emotional way on Thursday about who this team is and who they can be and, and don't look at the record and other things and things of the past. And cause I knew just from watching film how hard they were going to play and how much talent they had at, at some key positions. And so, but uh, thought we got their attention from that, but uh, obviously not to the extent we needed to. So obviously need to look at that and make some changes. Zach and Todd. I guess, Tom, to, to follow up on that, I mean, did, did you, for lack of something more artful, sense that maybe your locker room was struggling not to look past Akron a little bit? And just, I mean, how do you, what's the battle a coach fights in a situation like that where obviously it's easy to sort of say it, but to get a whole group of people to keep that focus? Oh, it's, it's huge. I mean, I think it's, uh, you know, I was looking for opportunities and uh, did not like at all how we practiced. We, re we actually restarted some things on Thursday. And uh, from what you're just saying right there, I just sense the lack of really understanding who we were playing and their ability to beat you. And so, uh, which is mind blowing because we don't have any right to think that at this point. So, but uh, did sense it for sure. Didn't like what I was seeing. And, uh, uh, but at the same time, um, didn't uh, effectively get their attention for sure. Especially not on certain areas of the, of the game. So, but yeah, to me, it's a matter of, of uh, you know, Addressing it, and like I said, making whatever change we got. I feel like we got to make to, to get us after four games, getting us playing right out of the gate at a high level. Todd, on your right, then Mike. Tom, uh, third down uh, and fourth down, three for 16 combined on both tonight. Um, what, what I know you need to watch the film, but yeah. what do you want to see unlocked in terms of trying to get that done? Because a lot of those were short yardage as well. Yeah, you know, up front, didn't, didn't block well at all. Uh, Probably our worst performance of the season on the offensive line as far as running the football. Look, there's more than just them that are affected. There's tight ends and, and the quarterbacks and the reads and different things we do, but obviously not not near good enough. You know, on the goal line, you got to score touchdowns and not have to kick field goals. And obviously, you got stopped on the one or two before you chose to kick a field goal from inside the one. But uh, uh, yeah, just I mean, it starts up front. Got to got to block better. Uh, if we have to make changes up front, personnel wise, and we'll do what we got to do to get that fixed. But that, that kind of starts, to me, that's where it begins, you know, and then puts a lot of pressure on third downs with, uh, you know, a young quarterback that, that uh, had a tough night, you know, just call it what it is. So, uh, but at the same time, we got to do some things to help him as well. But uh, definitely, um, you know, got to go back and evaluate everything we're doing on, on offense. Mike, on your left and Brad. Uh, you, you mentioned, David, I mean, settled down, you know, with that last two-point conversion. What did you see from him kind of? Missed some throws high. I mean, what, what do you get a sense of his sort of demeanor? And then you talk a lot about his moxie, but where was he at in that second half that you guys were continuing this trouble? Yeah, it was, uh, um, it was a tough night. You know, he uh, definitely wasn't uh, wasn't his best. And uh, uh, we didn't do a good job protecting him. There was guys in his face all, all night long. The running backs did not do a good job blocking at all, as well as our offensive line. So both of those groups really added to that. Some of those issues um, caused maybe some high throws. But just, you know, we, got, we, got hit. we had some open receivers that we didn't hit. We had three critical drops. One would have been a touchdown early on. Just lack of focus, call it, but that's really what it is. You know, so those three drops were, were hurt us. Um, and then just not being able to, to execute. So just, uh, you know, growing pains without question, but uh, 
Uh, we've got to look at it very thoroughly and figure out where we need to be and what we need to do to, to get those things fixed because we got a really good team coming up here. And just, uh, Rabbi, on your left, and Mason. Yeah, just one offensive touchdown through four quarters against the NBA 35 last week. So, obvious question, you know, is that play calling needs adjusting? Is it execution? Is it both? Is it many things? What do you see and kind of how would you grade the offensive production tonight through four quarters? Yeah, not good enough. Not close, you know. So, below the standard, below what's acceptable uh, for sure. Uh, need to go back and watch the film to be able to evaluate the execution piece and, and obviously you can see the things that I mentioned as far as the drops and, and not, not doing a good job and obviously just evaluate what we're calling. And I think there's no question that, that some of those leading up to it you know, causes you to be a little bit uh, um, a little more careful in some of those situations not to, to, to create a takeaway and put you in a, in a worse situation because the defense was playing well and doing a lot of good things. So uh, that's, you know, even why we chose to kick field goal from the one-yard line, just because, hey, it was a seven-point lead. We wouldn't really want to have a, you know, a double, you know, two-score lead, uh, which is frustrating, but at the same time, played that one just to be able to get enough points, which proved to be a pretty critical decision, you know, to give us a chance to go to overtime, you know. So uh, just, uh, you know, just looking at it live, like you all saw, you know, very frustrating, not good enough. That's all I'm going to say. Mason, have you right in Zion. Coach, you mentioned that you need to make some changes in that process, I would imagine, is extensive. But how, how deep is that process? What all goes into that process? Well, I mean, just go through and I'll, I'll, We'll go through and evaluate all the times when we broke down. You go through and figure, why was it? Was it technique? Was it skill? You know, from a, the, the talent of a person being able to make that, whatever it is we're asking to do, you know, and just be able to make sure, is it the call? You know, is it what we're, you know, position we're putting the guys in, you know? So that to me is the evaluation. We have some things on defense too that, that uh, you know, we didn't execute at, at, at critical times, you know, and, and, and hurt us. You know, that long run at the end was inexcusable to me. I mean, so um, shouldn't have been to overtime. We should have, you know, defensively did a lot of great things. We can't give up that long run. It was, it was a wrong fit by one of our linebackers who, you know, one of our better players, and so it just cannot happen, you know. So, but offensively, uh, it is a thorough process. It'll start here, here in a few hours. It'll be a short night to be able to get back to work and figure out what we got to do because obviously we're playing again here real soon. Zion, I think that's the last one. Coach, uh, the quarterback irons 141 yards rushing. What do you think led to his success, whether it was a design run or him scrambling? Yeah, I think, you know, when you, you know, they do a lot of things that, that put you in conflict with your eyes. So man is a better answer than playing zone. The negative of that is if your front doesn't contain him, then when he does break free, there's no eyes on him, you know. So what's happened on that the last run I thought that was in, they kind of put us in the, uh, the second overtime there when we had him on a situation to get to the quarterback. And, and uh, so um, I thought that was part of it. Didn't think we had good edges at times, you know, defensively. Uh, he's a very dangerous guy without question. And so, but just, you know, once again, even though the defense was on the field way too much, which they were, uh, that puts a lot of pressure on him. But at the same time, you know, felt like we didn't do a great job of containing a really dangerous quarterback who, who we knew going to him was a really good athlete, could beat you with his legs. And so it's just that fine line between getting enough pressure on him and also having eyes on him so you can make sure when he does break free, you can get him on the ground. So uh, we were successful at it a lot of the time, but not all the time, not enough. All right, thanks, Tom. All right, have a great night. LEO.